Hi, it's Nomadic Madman. Recently, I finished a trip through Wyoming to South Dakota and back. I wanted to do a short video on an area between Yellowstone National Park and Cody, Wyoming. If you ever have driven that route, either way, you may have noticed a old house up on top of a hill. It looks haunting. It looks like a uh, I don't know. It's an amazing structure. Anyways, I happened to stop for the night at the uh, at a motel that's at the base of the of the hill or the mountain that's there. And when I looked up, I saw the the house there. And so uh, I never had stopped to look at it very closely. It's a privately held property, but. I did a little, when I went into the room, there was an article, which I'm going to read uh, and display in the YouTube video that was basically posted in the motel room, explaining a little bit about the structure. There's some, also some websites that talk about it. It was built by a man by the name of Francis Lee Smith, I believe through the eighties into the early nineties. The, there was a fire in the area called the rattlesnake fire probably in the 80s that once the fire was over with there was they were allowed to harvest some of the wood for free and so he started building the house it's almost it's made out of logs and uh, it's a big huge wooden structure pretty impressive so anyways this is just a short video showing the picture relating the story if you ever drive that route you'll notice it it's pretty cool actually and this article that was in my motel room, I, it looks like it's out of a book or something. I could not find the book. So I, I don't know what the book name is, but it talks about the house a little bit. On April 25th, 1992, Francis Lee Smith was killed in a fall while working on his home outside of Cody, Wyoming. His death brought an end to his dreams and to 18 years of strenuous labor. To his memory, we dedicate this book. It was in the summer of 1984 when we saw it. We were heading east from Yellowstone Park towards Cody, Wyoming, having driven through spectacular countryside for the past several hours. At first, we thought our eyes were playing tricks on us. From a distance, the structure looked like some throwback to early mining days. As we drove closer, we saw that it was particularly built with logs. With our interest peaked further, we detoured up a rocky dirt road to find Lee Smith hard at work. In our ensuing conversations, we became fascinated with both Lee and his dream. Using recycled materials, Lee had already been working some 10 years on his home and, by his own calculations, had at least 10 more to go. Everything from foundation excavation to horse logging was done without the use of heavy machinery. Even the beams, logs, rafters, and trusses were lifted onto the structure by hand. Fast becoming his life's work, Lee was totally consumed by his project, a monument to the mountains he'd explored and loved so much. While the structure is impressive, we also marvel that Lee built his home while maintaining a full-time job in Cody as an engineer. Working through 18 years of weekends, vacations, and late nights, his perseverance was as formidable as the building itself. You have built your castle, Lee. Now rest in peace.